Welcome to Dallas, Texas. In this video, we're going back to the 80s to do the filming locations for a very classic movie, RoboCop. What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Here we are in Dallas, Texas, doing filming locations for the movie RoboCop. Came out in the year 1987 in theaters. Filmed here in Dallas from August of 86 to November 86. And here we are kicking things off. Let's go. Directly in front of us would have been the Detroit Precinct building where they film the exterior shots. We will get to where they actually film the interior shots, but this was the building and the cameras would have been set up right around here. So we'll see so many cars coming in and out of this parking lot. Actually, this was pretty much the only area where they had the camera set up, but it almost looked like it was set up on the ground, kind of like this. Yeah, it's pretty cool to see. A lot of opening shots right here in the movie. And I believe the Plaza of America's building is directly behind it where they did some more filming locations and we'll get to those later. If you follow my channel, you know I love the 80s. So really cool to be here in Dallas and do an 80s filming location. Of course, had to rock that 80s MTV music television t-shirt. Yeah. Alrighty. Let's go to the next location. Maybe I'll have to put my sunglasses on. I'm gonna be a little blind today if you couldn't tell. Bright and early here in Dallas. Let's go. And just a quick view. I know it's a little loud. We're in the parking garage, but this is the front of where they shot the exteriors for the police precinct. The old Dallas High School. We arrived at our next location. Sons of Herman Hall. So the downstairs portion of this building pretty much serves as a bar today, while the upstairs portion is the dance hall. The police precinct interior was filmed in the upstairs portion. The doors, funny enough, were brought in. I'll have to throw a picture in here so you can see, but the doors were brought in and installed just for the film. However, those same doors still remain today inside the building. Obviously, like I said, we're not gonna be able to see them, but they're still in the building. There's apparently even a RoboCop poster you'll see while walking up the stairs. Now, today this is a club, or not a club, but a music hall of some sorts. Oh, you know what? It's actually a historical landmark. Let's go check this sign out. We can look through the windows, but I don't think we can, yeah, we're not gonna be able to get in. Sons of Herman Hall in Dallas. Go take a little peek inside. Oh, that's cool. Oh, uh, we're not gonna be able to see much. There you go. Yeah, this is where all the interior shots were filmed on the police station side. One more fun fact regarding this building right here. In 2002, when they did the American Idol auditions for Dallas, right in this building, this is where Kelly Clarkson auditioned, her first audition for American Idol. Obviously, she would go on to win and become the Kelly Clarkson we all know and love today. How cool is that? Let's go on to the next location. Wow, this is right next to the Plaza of America. That's a really cool mural. Well, we've made our way to Hotel Street here in Dallas. This is the street that they filmed uh, the car chasing scene that's in the earlier part of the movie when Murphy's actually human rather than Robocop. But we uh, <laughs> will just kind of give you an idea. All they did with this scene is they just drove back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So we'll get some views and take it from there. And this is the street today. So like I said, this is uh, Hotel Street. They would have just been driving back and forth, back and forth, but they would have had some shots going this way. And then we will take you and get some shots going that way. And there's Reunion Tower up there. I always thought that was funny because this movie takes place in Detroit, but <laughs> the Reunion Tower, which is clear as day in any of these shots is in the background. And if you see any Dallas skyline, there's always the Reunion Tower, but yeah, right here. They would have been coming actually towards us, but you get that Reunion shot in the background. 
and while filming they would have just went back and forth on this road to get all these shots. We've made it to our next location. All right, this is a cool scene. I don't know why I like this scene. It's probably because the like classic 80s neon sign in the back that's no longer here. But this is the parking lot where the assault scene would have happened. That girl's walking and those two crazy loony guys come after her and start like barking like dogs and crap. But anyway, um, this is where that scene was shot. This building right here, you could still see was in the movie. Um, but pretty much most of it is all changed. This is a parking lot right now and I think Robocop would have came from this street over here, but this is what it is today. I don't know why I like this scene. Like I said, it's probably because that neon sign in the back. Only if it could be here today. Anyway, whatever. Let's go to the next location. Next location. The Dallas Lost Center. So this is the in the movie Robocop, this was the uh, city hall and the mayor is being held hostage. So, wow, there used to be a big building right there. I was just watching the movie the other night and there used to be a big building right there. Not anymore, now it's a park, but this whole street was used for filming. They would have had all the cop cars around and the mayor was being held hostage somewhere right up there. Now, a not so fun fact, this is in real life is the building that Lee Harvey Oswald was shot and killed by Ruby. They said in the basement, and I think it's right down there. Driving through Dallas, and this is the old Majestic Theater. Would you say the oldest theater in Dallas? Probably. Yeah, one of the oldest at least. It's definitely one of the oldest. It even had, oh, that old vibe with the that cover right there and the lights underneath. Look at that. How pretty. Now this next location, you would not be able to recognize it at all today, but I think the cameras would have been set up probably on that bridge right up there. But let me turn this camera around and kind of show you what I'm talking about. So this parking lot right where I'm standing, this would have been the Shell gas station. Obviously no longer here today, but it's pretty cool. You can see that same building right in the background. And uh, yeah, I, I don't know what year exactly they demolished the Shell gas station, but this is where it would have been. This is where Robocop would have had his encounter with the biker dude, would have kicked him. So once again, uh, a little hard to imagine today, but I'm pretty sure Robocop, the camera, when the gas station blows up, I think would have been set up right up there somewhere. Um, Robocop would have been walking across this street. Obviously this sidewalk and the grass and trees wouldn't have been here, but he would have walked right over this way and had his first encounter right in this parking lot with the biker dude. Pretty cool, huh? Next location. We're making our way to Murphy's apartment where he visited visits once again when he's Robocop, but it's all through kind of memory. Um, but the camera, they actually get a shot right here. The camera would have been set up and his, in the movie you could see his wife and son waving right straight ahead. I'll throw in a photo. All right, so we are driving into Murphy's house. So he would have came right down this way and I think it's right up here because that, yeah, here we go. Let's see. Wow, so this one right here, 107, would have been Robocop's Murphy's uh, condo apartment. So that top right there, that is still here today that was in the movie murphy parks his car literally right there that gate wasn't here then but this little courtyard was with the tree so that is so cool right there so right here is the renaissance tower and this building we're not going to go up to the top because it's office building but this building was where they did all the boardroom scenes in robocop so technically this was the ocp building just for the boardroom scenes. Like I said, they've used 
two other buildings that made it all look like it was the OCP building. However, on the 54th floor, I believe, floor, I believe this is where they filmed all the key boardroom OCP shots. Right here at Renaissance Tower, smack in the city of Dallas. Wow. As I mentioned earlier, I live outside of Dallas, but I've never been to this part. This is the Cattle Drive, famous structure in the city of Dallas with the Longhorns. I've <laughs> never seen this. This is so cool. I did a video, uh, if anyone's interested, I did a video a little while ago, like top 13, best 13 things to do in the city of Dallas. I just put photos in for this park because I've never been here. But if you want to go check it out, go check it out. And we've made it to, in real life, Dallas City Hall in the movie RoboCop. This building's pretty famous. So in the movie, this was used as the exterior building of the OCP building. There's so many scenes that happen right in the front. You can see there's RoboCop pulls his car kind of right in the front. There's also so many scenes with RoboCop fighting the other robot right in the front. So we'll have to go check some of those out as well. Uh, this is pretty cool. I've never been here, but yeah, this is uh, Dallas City Hall and Reunion Tower is straight ahead. Here's the city of Dallas. Robocop's car would have been parked right, right about there. And then in the main lobby area, it's all directly to your left right there. There would have been some scenes that happen. He's fighting the other robot. And just like some of the other uh, locations in this video, they made the building in the movie look so much taller than it actually is. But in real life, it's only about that big. We've made our way to the Plaza of the Americas. And the only thing they really filmed in here was the elevator scenes. It makes you, the movie makes you think you are in the OCP building, which actually, funny enough, um, I'll put in, you know, three, three separate buildings that they make you think is one. But this is the building where they filmed all the elevator scenes. And the exact elevator Robocop used, if you want to use it, Elevator B. Let's go. Oh, there we go. All right. Oh, this is going to be a little creepy. I'm not a huge fan of elevators. <laughs> Hope it doesn't move too far. Oh, that's not bad. It's just like that first jolt. But look, I can be Robocop. Whoa. That's pretty cool. We've made our way down to the lower level. Now that one right there, that is elevator C. Moving on its own, but you can imagine Robocop getting in the elevator and going up. What's also funny too is they make it seem, and you'll see here in the photos, but they make it seem like it's so high, like the building, the ceiling just goes on forever, but in reality, it's not. In reality, it's only that. Once again, this is the Plaza of Americas. And you know what? It's really weird. It's a Saturday morning. Like everything's closed still. Place is open, but it's closed. I wanted a donut. There's a donut shop here. And that one's closed too. But anyway, let's go check out this elevator right here. And that one is elevator B. That is the exact elevator Robocop was in. Right there. Wow, I've never seen a water fountain like this. That's actually really cool. Look how slow it's dripping out. Pretty, and they even got a light in there. Wow. So we live outside of Dallas. It only took us 30 minutes to get to the city, but we've never been here before. And this building the Plaza of the Americas is actually really cool. It's kind of, it's a mix of so many different things. It's like, this is the Marriott here. They have a bunch of shops and ho uh, shops and restaurants and like Smoothie King and little, you know, fresh eat, 
things and this and that. And of course, what we're here for, the RoboCop elevators.